I'm looking at this wonderful, unique, one-time, wonderful coin, 10-ounce silver, with the menorah right in the center of it. And all of that on the background of the city of Jerusalem with the Temple Mount for this holy city, the sanctuary. So much meaning. The menorah with those flames facing the Holy of Holies but bringing the light to the world. The windows in the temple are facing the outside. Usually windows bring light in because people think that the origin of light in the world is the sun. The origin of light in the world is the temple. And each and every one of you have an opportunity to be a flame in the menorah of God, to bring His light to the world. Each and every one of you can lighten that light that exists in the hearts of all humanity who were created B'Tselem Elohim. In the, we don't even can't even say to the word B'Tselem Elohim if the Torah wouldn't tell us. The form of God, that dot, that neshama, that soul that we have, which is connected. And we can lighten the menorah of the Temple Mount, of the land of Israel, of the entire land of Israel, which God gave us as a present in the Six Day War. And we can bring this message to the world. And the world, instead of trying to tell us how Israel is what's wrong in the Middle East, and we know that Israel is what's right in the Middle East. And we are like a, a pillar of light, of democracy, of human rights, but beyond that, of connecting to God and bringing that connection to the world. It all begins right over here. The place God chose to rest in divine presence, the menorah, the city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem! Just saying that word, Yerushalayim. Every Jew just hears that word. And every one of his nerves, every one of his blood vessels is filled with joy. Jerusalem. What gave the power of every young Jewish couple to get married? Jerusalem. Every prayer built Jerusalem. This is what held the people of Israel because that connection to God's representative in the world, Yerushalayim, city of Shalom, God's name, inclusiveness, the whole world. And that's the privilege of receiving this coin from the Toronto Jewish community. When I was there celebrating, and I'm here right now celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Six Day War, of that war which the greatest one in the history of the people of Israel, Purim, Hanukkah, and Pesach together. Two million Jews against the whole world. God gave us that victory. He gave us that wonderful historical victory where the capital of the people of Israel, the capital of the state of Israel, unites. And Jerusalem is once again one city. City of God. City of peace. City of the Bible. And we have the privilege of living and seeing it. And now we have the obligation to pass it on, that message, to the next generation, the heritage of the Temple Mount. And hopefully, we will in our days see the Temple Mount being a world center of prayer to God. Shalom.